Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chief Operating Officer, OpenStack Foundation, Mark Collier. All right. Good morning, everyone. Looks like everybody's uh, ready for another summit day here in Hong Kong. I am Mark Collier with the OpenStack Foundation. It's my pleasure to be back at another summit. And we're going to talk a little bit about the OpenStack community, no surprise. Um, and of course, we're going to talk quite a bit about some of the activities going on in China. Now, there is OpenStack activity going on all over the planet right now. It's absolutely unbelievable to me. In fact, there are people in this room right now from over 50 countries. And that just blows my mind. I mean, we think about the users, developers, and all the foundation members from all over the planet. So I thought I'd share a little bit of that data with you, and then we'll bring up some speakers from some of the largest users in China to tell you about what they're doing with OpenStack. Now, in terms of OpenStack clouds, we actually have uh, known deployments of OpenStack clouds in over 200 cities in the world. And this map gives you a little, a little sense for that. It's a heat map, so there's a, a little bit of an idea of just how active um, the activity is in different parts of the world. Um, now, this is just a small amount of the overall clouds out there. These are just people who filled out our user survey in the past few weeks. So people that actually came in and said, OK, I'll, I'll tell you about my deployment, and that uncovered deployments in over 200 cities of OpenStack clouds. That's pretty incredible to me. As I mentioned, we have OpenStack Foundation members all over the world. Hopefully, many of you are also members of the Foundation. We actually have over 12,000 members in over 1,000 cities. And so for me, when we think about the diversity of OpenStack, it is absolutely about a lot of different use cases, but the ge geographies and the local communities that have sprung up are really what drive OpenStack forward. And we're going to hear a little bit about that today. But before we dive into the China region, I wanted to share one more stat uh, with you. This is something we, we just were able to pull together this week. It's the new data. And this actually talks about where the developers are, the active technical contributors to OpenStack all over the world. And you may notice that uh, it's pretty diverse. There's a lot of activity throughout Asia, North America, Europe, even in, in South Africa. And we're starting to get more activity in, in South America and Australia. Now, I've got a question for everybody. Who here knows what city has more developers working on OpenStack than any other city in the world? Anyone want to take a guess? I, I heard Austin. I'm from Austin, so I mean, I'm tempted, but I, I couldn't turn the numbers that way. Sorry. Uh, any other guesses? So if you're really good at reading this chart or you know the title of this talk, that might give you some idea. But it's actually Beijing, believe it or not. These are, these are uh, more developers, active technical contributors to OpenStack in Beijing than any other city. And that just blows my mind. And in fact, it's not just Beijing, but all throughout China. Shanghai, in fact, is, is also a, a top 10 city for the, the contributors that we have to OpenStack. And that's why we thought today, this morning, would be a good time to hear from some of those users, learn a little bit about that community, and try to understand where they're going, what they're doing with OpenStack, and how we can make that happen all over the world. If you zoomed in on any one of those different regions I showed in the bigger map, you would find the same thing, an active user community, user groups, developers contributing, an ecosystem of companies that you can hire to help you if you're building a cloud. We see that all over. And today, we're going to zoom in this morning on, on China. So with that, I'm going to bring up our first user, Jack Wu from IGE, <coughs> engineering manager. He's going to tell us what they're doing with OpenStack. This is one of the largest video sites in China similar to a Hulu or YouTube, massive, massive uh, infrastructure. So come on up, Jack Wu. Tell us what you're doing with OpenStack. Hi. 
Hi, thank you, Mark. Okay, good morning, everyone. I'm uh, Jack from uh, IT. I will take several minutes to share OpenStack in IT. Um, before that, I will take, uh, let me talk a little bit about uh, IT. So IT is uh, China's online video companies, which was founded by Baidu. And uh, the website launched in 2010, and it's focused on the four licensed high-definition video contents, like uh, Hulu and YouTube um, in America. So we also have a strong uh, in-house content teams to produce the uh, differentiating content and uh, the entertainment news. Uh, the graph shown here is our website, and uh, the data on the left, left, left side is the, uh, monthly unique visitors. It's uh, uh, important uh, criteria to evaluating the online video company. So currently, the data is the, about 360 million. 360 million. Uh, it's about one third of the YouTube's. Okay, one year ago, we are evaluating the computing result, computing service. Uh, so why OpenStack? I list several highlights here. The first one is the control and the flexibility. So the, uh, it's uh, help us uh, to easily integrating the legacy code and uh, third-party uh, technologies. So next one is the community support. The third one is the flexible technologies. It's uh, important for us to uh, integrating the different virtualizations to solve the different problems. So the last one is the cost effectiveness. Since we are, uh, we are uh, startup companies and uh, uh, cost is really important for us. So after one year's operation, oper operation and uh, development on OpenStack, uh, OpenStack have uh, provided, uh, sustained almost all the infrastructures of the IGE with the scalable IT capabilities. Uh, currently, we have uh, several data centers. And uh, in each data center, we set up one or two OpenStack clusters. And we set up a unified dashboard to control all the virtual machines across the different database and the different clusters. So currently, OpenStack manages uh, 100 uh, servers and uh, uh, thousands of the virtual machines. Uh, OpenStack in IT providing the two parts of the service. One is the computing resource, the other is the object storage. So based on the OpenStack, we set up a service cloud. And uh, the service cloud supported the distributed database and the message queues and other computing frameworks such as Hadoop. And upon the uh, upon the service cloud is our key business applications such as the search engines, uh, recommendation systems, uh, etc. cetera. So cross data, data centers, uh, computing resource, and uh, distributed object storage keep our application much more robust. OK, so in order to minimize our operational efforts, so we set up several systems to co-work with OpenStack. Uh, the first one is the management systems. It's uh, uh, provide a unified entries to manage the virtual machines, life cycles, and check the OpenStack functionalities. And although we can review the computing resource statistic. The next one is ticket systems to so, uh, review the customer requirements. And uh, the third one is the audit systems. And it uh, helps our management to uh, uh, to check where to identify where uh, to identify the area where to cut and uh, uh, achieve the profit. This, the first one is the monitors. We are based on the uh, Zabbix. It's an open source project. The last one is the deploy systems, and uh, we extend the puppet to support the authority control process. Okay, this is uh, our uh, OpenStack using models in IGE. It's a uh, mixing architectures. What I call this mixing since uh, uh, virtualizations uh, divided the servers into the different uh, uh, virtual machines. And uh, OpenStack hiding the virtual machines management and uh, provided the resource to the resource framework. We are using the methods and methods uh, provided a computing resource to a different high-level computing framework, such as Hadoop, Spark, and some self-defined uh, uh, architect uh, framework, such as transcodings. So two, uh, two months ago, we are set up 
this, this, this framework. And uh, uh, it leverage all the CPU resource from our code storage clusters. And till now, it's about uh, 8 million task, transcoding task has been finished on this mixing architecture. So it's important for us to uh, set up this uh, elastic computing pools. Uh, since we can uh, provide our resource uh, to the different computing framework, different applications, based on business priorities. And although this computing pools is really uh, flexible to scale, since it's a uh, 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 operation of the integrations uh, uh, versus supported uh, virtual machines and the servers seamlessly. Okay, at the end of the speech, I will sh share a de demo videos. It's about uh, multi screen interactions. Okay. Okay, so that's all. Thank you for your time. Great. Thank you. Thank you for that presentation. So that's pretty incredible to me if you think about hundreds of millions of people every month watching this premium video content throughout China and they're relying on OpenStack to do it. And I think we heard yesterday that uh, if you're into Modern Family or today, I believe they were uh, showing Two Broke Girls. So whatever your, your taste is in TV, it's probably powered by OpenStack which is pretty incredible. Now, the next person that's going to come up is going to be Yufang Zhang. He's a system en engineer with Kihu 360, another giant in uh, China. And I'd love to hear what he's doing with OpenStack. So let's welcome him up. Thank you. Hey, everyone. I'm Yifeng, a system engineer from Chihu 360, and it's a pleasure to talk about OpenStack at Chihu. Chihu is a top three internet company as measured by user base in China, and we are the number one provider of internet and mobile security products and services in China. And we provide the number two browsers and the number two search engine in China. But now we are searching 450 million users. So here are some of our products. And some of the products are our core security product that protect our users' computers and mobile devices against any kind of malware and do system optimization when needed. And we have also browsers. And it's the number two browsers in China. And they provide user uh, secure and optimized access internet, 
at punch, and we have also mobile assistant. It's a comprehensive and Android-based internet Apple Store that enable users to install, manage their applications on their smartphone. And all the other services are web services that fully satisfy users' uh, accessment to their internet. So all these products and services are s supported by our cloud-based technology. So cool. But what does it mean to us, especially to our engineers? And here are some interesting numbers. For each day, there are 590 million clicks on the startup page each day, and there are 13 to 50 million files being identified on the cloud antivirus engine, and 2 million PV on the mobile assistant each day. So there are, there are many numbers to be listed here, and I think it is a great challenge for us, for our engineers to build uh, a great infrastructure to fully satisfy all this need, all this heavy load, and all these products to deliver great user experience. So what we need from our infrastructure? I think we need agility. We need agility to quick, give quick response to our customers' requirement. And we need scalability to make sure our customer to get high quality of services. And we also need el elasticity to make sure we have high resource management in the infrastructure. So OpenStack makes our life easier. And it gives us a chance to build infrastructure with agility, scalability, and elasticity. And that's why we start our OpenStack journey. So here is where we are. We started our OpenStack journey since Q3 last year, and all of our <coughs> OpenStack are foursome branch on, on the production system of our, uh, in our company. And we would backport uh, patches from upstream when needed. And all the hosts are CentOS 5.4 and uh, with them as hypervisor. And by now, there are four thousand instances around 20 data centers. And the, the instance serves tens of products, each of which have numerous users. But now there are overall 40% of all instances managed by OpenStack in Chihu, and I think the number would get to 60% in the end of the year, I think. And as shown in this picture, uh, Chihu's infrastructure have heavily relied on OpenStack, and many important and services and products are supported by OpenStack. For example, all web applications are hosting within instance managed by OpenStack. And we leverage Glance Replica to replicate images across all data centers so that we can make sure a new web services could be online within hours across all China. And online gaming is another story. OpenStack gave us a chance to ma manage resources and instances in a fun-grained manner. And as a security company, we have many instances, Windows instances, to be managed. And with OpenStack API, we could manage instances with automation. And we can do scale out instances or scale in on demand. And there are many examples, uh, use cases, such as infrastructure tools, Hadoop clans, automation building and develop testing, and we are looking for the next user. And finally, thanks to its great documentation and great support from the community, a really small team could handle the daily job for OpenStack daily operation and troubleshooting. For now, we have only two full-time engineers, and we could uh, handle the work to build and manage OpenStack-based private cloud. And we we get good and positive feedback from our users. So here's uh, our cloud antivirus engine. All the files are extracted from the support database and pushed into the task pool. And the instances are separated into several groups to dedicate uh, to execute some type of dedicated jobs. And based on the information gathered from the monitor, we could uh, the scheduler could scale out instance on demand. For each day, there are 13 to 15 million files being identified in this 
OpenStack-based cloud antivirus engine. So many of Chihu's software and are based build, build on open source software so that we can have control of our software and we can do customiz customization when needed. And with OpenStack, we have over control, control of our infrastructure and we don't have to care about hypervisor or host login. And we can do customization when needed to satisfy our special requirement. So here are some customizations. And we <coughs> refactored the network model from layer three to layer two so that we could get high performance and get cost reduction. And we introduced a new table based image that we could build instance or instance image more quickly. And we also add some QoS parameter into instance so that some important instance could get a bad based assurance. And we also implement uh, instance recycle bin on our customized dashboard so that some instance could be restored on circumstances they are deleted by mistake. And we also integrate authentication with Keystone so that everyone has a Chihu has a Chihu account, they can get into OpenStack. And we also do a lot of improvement in the dashboard. Also, we, will, we would encounter bug or feature request in our daily job, and we are happy to work on it. And with the help of, hypo, with the help of community, we have tens of patches being merged into upstream. And all, are for, all of our team members are contributors of OpenStack. So, where are we going? I think we are still on the early stage of an OpenStack deployment, and a lot of work to be done to make the OpenStack-based private cloud more effective and more stable. And we are looking forward to move Havana in from some, from some regions, and we need to add just storage support in our OpenStack cluster. And finally, Thank you, all in community. Your, your great work makes our life easier and make all these great things happen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. All right. Wow. So one of the largest internet and security companies in China, running thousands of instances and 20 data centers of OpenStack. That is incredible, and I think that you know, when we hear from users who love the flexibility of OpenStack, but they're also contributing back, that is just amazing to me. And we think about some of that data I shared earlier where we see contributors and users, and foundation members. Those are not silos. These are active members of the community who are uh, all three, really. And uh, that's the best, best kind of users, the ones that are ready to get in there and help us make OpenStack better for everybody. So next up. We're going to hear from Ctrip. This is the largest travel site in China. And Eric Yi, who spent 20 years in Silicon Valley and then moved to China to head up uh, the R&D center as the GM at Ctrip and VP of Technology is going to come up and tell us what they're doing with OpenStack. And I think you're going to be pretty excited when you hear what he has to say. Come on up, Eric. Thank you, Mark. Uh, good morning. And uh, I probably have some friends in the stage. Uh, you guys sit there, OK? And uh, today, I'm uh, three parts. One is talking about C trip a little bit. And uh, uh, the, I quickly go into what we do with the cloud technology to empower, to transform C trip call center in the beyond. Then, I will talk about uh, uh, going forward and what are the challenges we're having, next steps. Uh, at last, we'll be give an uh, on-stage live demo about uh, our uh, mobile app using cloud technology, OK? All right, let's uh, get going. Uh, so this is the uh, largest online booking uh, for hotels on the, this platform in 40%. Then uh, serve so that many countries in the cities. The uh, the hotel coverage, okay. So three uh, three fifty thousand hotels covered on the planet. Uh, the next one is the largest fly booking platform in China, 
Um, the, some numbers over there, airport served and uh, how many tickets issued every day. Uh, next one is uh, uh, since, uh, not only the hotel and the flights, we have a bunch of other businesses that I want to highlight a few of them here. So first one, uh, the package is another one, group two, uh, cop travel. If you are in China, you know those things. Uh, uh, but, uh, uh, but we are working, so that's uh, uh, probably most people in China know. And uh, now we're creating new businesses. Um, car, cruise, train, international expansion, uh, destination, which is a travel guide, community, so on and so forth, okay? So that's all good. And uh, so that's, uh, I'm talking about today, where we are, okay? And I show some numbers for you uh, so that you get sense. Number one is the website we call the data centers. We have three, and the PV, new members adding daily. So the offline, uh, C2P is pretty good about uh, call center business, uh, as many of you know. And uh, the, if you look at the call volumes every day, it's uh, uh, very impressive, okay? So we have, uh, uh, literally we have uh, uh, 13,000 call agents and uh, they're taking shifts. Uh, call center, we have three uh, different locations, all right? So the mobile, and uh, in last year, we're pushing mobile technology quite a bit, and uh, that's uh, uh, grow, fast, grow very fast, and I give it demo at the end. Uh, now, move forward, uh, fast forward, and forward for seven years, okay? Um, so this is what we planned, um, and let me show you some numbers, okay? Business needs to grow 10 times, because we, we calculate, and I don't get into details about that, how we can get 10 times, but uh, that's what we're aiming for, okay? Active users and the traffics, and the site availability, and uh, uh, operation footprint, cost center footprint, and uh, uh, I did the sizing on that, so uh, that's, there are some numbers. And uh, we will use in clouds later, okay? So now, look at those numbers. For business side, for the, I'm talking about business VPs, and uh, they're pretty excited, okay? The I'm in the technology side, and I feel e extremely challenged to meet those numbers. And, uh, well, it's a challenge and also exciting, and uh, lots of things to do. Um, uh, if you look at the, uh, today, uh, the traffic, I showed you last slide. It's, uh, although it's the largest uh, travel platform in China, but uh, I come from, from Silicon Valley, so it's the uh, largest auction site. So that's number compared with them, still uh, kind of a dove, right? And, uh, but uh, 2020, and uh, those numbers will be not dove, and uh, probably will move up to maybe top 20 online uh, e-commerce site by then. All right, so then I quickly transition into what the cloud can help. And, uh, uh, as the head of the technology, I need to look at what are the weapons I have to meet those challenges. Um, so the one thing uh, we are working on, which is uh, we, uh, I started uh, almost two years ago, and uh, see that you know, we need to get into cloud, okay? So now after we uh, look, study, and I have a team created, and uh, look into some projects, and then try a few things, and uh, we come up with something really, really unique which uh, uh, I haven't seen anything on the planet doing something with c -trip does, okay? Let's look, what are we doing? One, uh, okay, that's a quick one, and uh, uh, I don't want to talk about more. Uh, uh, that is, uh, so we are at the 2013, uh, using, uh, heavily using, heavily relying on the OpenStack. And uh, the reason we're using OpenStack is less over there. I don't need to read through this, okay? Um, Probably that kind of a path uh, you, most of you guys gone through in the past, uh, learn, uh, learn here, there, and uh, eventually leads to the open stack. And uh, um, uh, we doing next one, and I want to point out uh, what we're doing something unique with the uh, open stack. So there's two colors, the red ones, uh, the, the yellow, and uh, we plan to use the white we are using already, okay? Uh, 
So the, that's the one I'm going to talk about a little bit more, OK? That's something with the C chip is unique. And I, uh, uh, a few minutes ago, I was talking about 13,000 agents today and answering phone every minute, OK? And the, the, during holidays, uh, 300,000 phone calls. You need to take care of them, all right? So uh, what's the technology behind? And uh, if you're dealing with the call, ten, call center in the past, you probably know uh, there's uh, quite a bit of technology behind, OK? But uh, most of the call center companies, they don't heavily invest on technologies. And, uh, but uh, uh, C-Trip call center, we are still growing. And uh, investing on technology, I have some business values behind that, OK? Uh, one is the, um, so today, uh, 2013, I'm going to deploy uh, 1,000 uh, virtual desktops. Uh, by, by, uh, when I look for virtual desktop, means that desktop is not on the, in the cubicle, not on the desk. Desktop will be disappeared on the cubicle. On the cubicle will be only has a monitor. Okay, then the desktop is virtual. Put it on the move back to the server. It's not physically move back to the server room. We creating a VM uh, for the desktop. So the OS, uh, the browser, the our call center applications will be sits in the VM and uh, um, uh, in the in, in the server rooms. So uh, we had, uh, uh, right now, we are in the pilot right now, and uh, we, this year, and uh, we are very confident and move up to uh, deploy 1,000 instances. So 1,000 desktop will be disappeared. And then now next year, <coughs> continue that pass. So the, uh, by end of next year, 13,000 desktops will be gone. Right? So that's something pretty exciting in the, uh, if you look at five years ago, technology was not very ready. Okay, you have to buy a vendor product. Some some vendor does that. And uh, but to be uh, with the comparison from cost perspective, and the uh, vendor solution is not going to cheaper than you buy a desktop and put it on the cube. You look at and uh, so so what we come up in the cost is chop it half. Uh, vendor can do we we can accomplish in half of the cost. And the open stack uh, play a bigger role on that, OK? All right, so this is something unique. Then there's a, I want to talk about a few things, uh, one, one more thing about uh, C++ private clouds. Uh, that uh, is you guys are very familiar with, and all call center is going to that kind of phase. And from dev farm, QA farm, and uh, production application farms. So that's, uh, um, I'm not going to expand a little bit more, OK? Uh, so here are the numbers so you can see. And uh, we are very successful on the uh, QE farms. Product production farms is uh, a little bit more com involved, as you guys, uh, uh, if you dealt with this problem before, and you know uh, some challenges in production than in the QA. Um, all right, so that's what I'm talking about. And I want to hook up the uh, mobile phone. And uh, uh, here are some numbers you can see. Um, let me show you. Uh, some exciting we have. All right, wow, that's the come up, really good. So this is the uh, application. Uh, I do a few uh, demos, okay? So this is Shanghai to Hong Kong flights. So it's come up like an instant, right, and all the price. And uh, the tickets we're sourcing from, you, you, you talk about, you talk about uh, like a, uh, Five, six hundred airlines uh, provide those tickets, and uh, and we uh, connect with the airlines, connect with the GDS, and so on and so forth. All right, so that's on the back, but uh, I'm on the demo on the uh, app side. So uh, we have the train. Um, I just randomly choose it, and the instant come come back, right? And so now you see that Eric, you didn't do something. Uh, that's uh, normal stuff. Why you, it's uh, so cool? This this is a hotel. Um, and so I, I hit in something cool real quick, okay? Um, so this uh, W to D. Uh, this is boys. Uh, let's try one more. W to D. 
How? This is we party last night here. Uh, let's look. So this hotel, and here's the tick. Here's all the rooms. Probably one of the lounge we stay last night, right? All right. So now um, this is still traditional app uh, application, and uh, so there's one button here called the Yin Chaoshin. Okay, voice voice search right here. Okay. Now here I want to hit something real. Okay. Uh, so I come forward. Um, all right, Shanghai, Beijing, Hotel. I just said that is a uh, Shanghai to Beijing train tickets. All right, come up, right? All the cool stuff, and nice, right? <laughs> that, thank you. All right, something really challenging. One time, people say that, give me a ticket to the Tibet. So I see something like a Shanghai to Shanghai to Xizhang hotel票. We we'll see what's that? Lhasa, Shanghai, Xizhang. He already recognized that it's right there. Very impressive, right? All right. So um, let's see. Let me do. Um, hotel right So let me do hotels. Okay. 香港机场附近酒店 I just said that give me Hong Kong uh, hotels nearby Hong Kong, hotel, Hong Kong airport so right there okay those uh, alright so now some hotel is very expensive three thousand more than three thousand Hong Kong dollars um, I want to do something narrow down okay let me do that give uh, uh, sorry, I, I was uh, trying to speak uh, English. And this, this application only recognizes Chinese, okay? So let me try again. Hong Kong Jichang Fujing Jiu Dian, Liang Chen Kuai Yin Nei. Woo! Liang Chen Kuai Yin Nei, right? 3,000 is gone, okay? How about this? And uh, I do. Even further, okay? Hong Kong Jichang Fujing Jiu Dian, 200 kuai yin nei. I say 200 US dollars, 200 Hong Kong dollars. There's none. <laughs> All right? So there's no hotel here. It's 200 dollars. You don't search, okay? My presentation is done. Thank you very much. All right, so one more thing. Um, uh, uh, the oops, uh, go back. Can I go back? <laughs> All right, that's okay. And I just want to uh, uh, thank you guys and uh, see you 11. We have a technical session on how we, how we implement uh, virtual desktop. I just highlight here. And uh, uh, there's some private cloud technology called the bare metal, so on and so forth. Okay, see you then. Thank you. That was great. Okay. That was great. So as he mentioned, uh, they will be having a, a longer session around 11.15 in this room. where They're going to go into a lot more detail on the technology. Mm -hmm. So uh, just to wrap up, I wanted to talk a little bit about how we got here. Why have we gotten to this point where we have this massive community in China of developers and users and some of the largest internet companies in the world we just heard from uh, that are all using OpenStack. And in fact, if you think about uh, how big the market is in China, you may not be aware of this, but there are already more than twice as many internet users in China as there are in the United States. So when we hear about these internet companies, call center applications, VDI, 13,000 desktops, it's a massive market, they're embracing OpenStack. But why is that? Well, I love data, and I love these fancy maps, but the reality is it's really not numbers and dots on a map. It's the people, obviously. It's the community leaders, right? So I just want to say thank you to Yuji Du, who is a very active member of the community in Shanghai. This is how we got here. People like this who invested their time and energy in creating local user groups, having meetups, helping users, 
This is why we have big, big companies and small and startups betting on OpenStack and succeeding in China. And if you look at uh, Beijing, many of you may know Cheng Wei. He actually introduced me to all three of these users because he knew what was going on in China. He knew who the big users were. Why? Because he early on bet his career on OpenStack. He came to some of our early summits and has really put his heart and soul into building the community in Beijing as well as throughout China. So I want to thank Chang Wei for his efforts to build OpenStack in China. <laughs> Hopefully he's out there. There he is. Um, and, you know, people like Chang Wei who really know how to give back to a community don't stop at the code. They don't even stop at just OpenStack. When we actually went to San Diego, we had a little community building event, and he helped clean up the beaches in San Diego. So people that really have a, a giving spirit and they're willing to give back, they'll do it everywhere. And they, they really, I think you'll find that if you give your heart into uh, helping build OpenStack or whatever community you're passionate about, it'll come back in spades. He, he built the team at Cena. He's gone on to uh, found United Stack, which is an OpenStack company in the ecosystem. So I would just encourage each of you, if you feel energized by what's happening here this week, go back, go back home, start a user group, have some meetups, help some users, and uh, you know, put your city on the OpenStack map. Maybe we'll talk uh, at the next summit. Thank you very much.